stars Outlander comes to North Carolina, but not really. At the movies, Western North Carolina has stood in for upstate New York, Last of the Mohicans, Missouri, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, Maryland, being there, and even a dystopian future, The Hunger Games. But since when has Scotland stood in for Western North Carolina? According to a report from Vanity Fair, the popular stars series Outlander will come to North Carolina in its fourth season, which debuts in November. But the filming was all done in Scotland. We certainly debated moving, production, to North Carolina, executive producer Meryl Davis told the magazine. But at the end of the day we realized we love our crew too much to leave Scotland. Still. Davis admitted something was missing, you're never going to get that heat and humidity of North Carolina in the summer in Scotland. So we just kind of decided from the get-go not to talk about the weather. The scenes set in North Carolina in the show take place in colonial days, where the show's time-traveling lovers, Claire, Katrina Balfe, and Jamie, Sam Hewen, settle for a while. Storylines address the social issues of the time including slavery and the treatment of the Cherokee. The Cherokee characters in Outlander will be played by First Nation performers from Canada, Davis said, since the show's non-union status prevented producers from using U.S. actors. He added that one of the show's executive producers had flown to North Carolina to meet with the Cherokee, presumably representatives from the Eastern Band. This is hardly the first time historical North Carolina has been the setting for filmed entertainment actually produced in Europe. WNC author Ron Rash's Serena, set in Haywood County in the 1930s, was turned into a feature film but shot in the Czech Republic in 2012, with Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper. A decade earlier, Charles Frazier's Cold Mountain, which takes its title from the Pisgah National Forest Peak, was filmed in Romania with Jude Law. Nicole Kidman and Renzel Weger, who won an Oscar for her performance. But this may be the first time the Scottish Highlands have stood in for North Carolina's Appalachian Mountains in a major production. Whether WNC's Scottish roots are part of the plot, we'll have to wait and see. Check out the Vanity Fair story online to see exclusive images from the fourth season of Outlander.